Did you keep up with any of the like red pill Steven Crowder shit? No, but people Dude, want me to talk like about it. Dude, they're all like at like a civil war with each other over there. Yeah, I saw Tommy C come out with a tweet and he's like, this is the biggest gay op on in YouTube history since I, Luffy dude, versus I Dude, I kind of agree with him, bro. It's like the Toddy Westbrook vitamin shit. Really? What I think is happening is Steven Crowder was offered $50 million by the Daily Wire to go be part of, like, their, um, like, Ben Shapiro's thing where, like, all Candace Owens, all these people are on it, right? He would get his pay cut docked 20% if his channel got demonetized or some shit happened, right? That's That's just, like... In the briefing contract, that can obviously still be negotiated, whatever, right? Yeah. So Steven Crowder records it, and then he's like, starts accusing them to being like, just essentially being like, simps to big tech media, and that the deal's bullshit. When in reality, bro, it makes sense. If he gets banned from making any money on YouTube or whatever, then um, of course he shouldn't get paid as much. The reason they're giving him $50 million is to get themselves more money. So he's getting... 20% of 50 million or they're getting 20% of 50 million? No, no, no. So they would dock him 20%. They would give him $50 million, but let's say he got demonetized or banned off YouTube or whatever, right? He would lose 20% of that 50 million then. Okay, but it's like only if he gets like out of the partner program Only or if he banned. literally loses like the ability to make money for the daily Oh, one. okay. So it isn't Which like demonetization on one video. It's just the whole channel. No, 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 no. Yeah. So it's not like that. Oh and, wow, um, docking 20% out of 50 million. Dude, he gets fucking... Dude. So this is where it becomes Toddy Westbrook shit. He is launching his own fucking website with his own stuff that's literally in competition with the Daily Wire. Exposing the Daily Wire, calling them part of big tech, all this shit, saying they're like, their deal's bad when it's not. It's a fucking great deal, it seems. He just so happens to be launching a competitor to the Daily Wire at the same time. What? And he thinks so that's gonna make more money? No, well, I, he's in control then, I think, you know? I, I guess he'd rather be in control than... Yeah, yeah, but how fucking crazy why is did that, he right? even? Why did he even try to make the deal if he wanted full control? Just don't Well, because then he could hurt his competitor. He could hurt his competitor. Oh, so he made... literally only took the deal to expose them and give promotion to his own shit. Dude, yeah, that's what I think, bro. That's fuck. Yeah, that's literally the only reason. I mean... Acting like why taking, else would he fucking and do it, this shit? it's not even taking twenty percent off guarantee. It's only based on one condition, which will yeah. fuck them royally. It's actually a super generous deal, dude. Dude, because if you get normally, if you fucking lose the ability to make the company money, you just get fucking fired. Is how that shit works. He still gets paid fucking eighty percent or whatever it is. Dude, you know? yeah, what the fuck? Oh my god, and I bet the uh, quartering and people like that are fucking so buying into the bullshit Jeremy's narrative. Jeremy's just fucking simping so hard, but all these other people are like, does this even make sense? Like, you Oh, know? so even like the right-wingers are like, okay, this is even a little too stupid Yeah, I think it's sort of like coming yeah. coming out to a little bit. Okay, that's good. What it's is happening, bro? We're <laughs> launching a fucking I'm escaping dick prison, space. dude! It's prison escape, This dude. is the way he does it? He's gonna fly the nuke right into somewhere? Yeah, I bet when Chris Chan went to prison, uh, she just like... This is how he thought he could escape. <laughs> this is how she thought she would escape, yeah. Prison escape just like Sonic. I'll just run yeah. out of here and, and go to Dimension C2 whatever and, and You didn't Sonic even escape. Wait, you're just in the fucking boat again. The ending of the... You got an E, bro? Now I'm in the jungle. How is he in the woods? What? yourself to me? It's literally the Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man meme. I'll make you eat those words. The fake hedgehog oh God, shadow. This is so fucking awful, bro. <laughs> That's an iconic scene, by the way. People, like, remake That's that scene iconic, and cherish bro. that scene, yeah. Look at this boss fight, bro. He's just standing there, man. <laughs> well, he... You jumped into the fucking... <laughs> he can't swim? This Be is like... one of the cringiest fucking games I have ever Dude, seen. Dude, you, do you ever, like, show something you love to someone and then they just fucking hate it and you feel embarrassed? That's me right now, I've dude. I've ever, ever experienced it on this level, Boblex. <laughs> dude, this game's <laughs> everything to me and you're just like... Fuck open? <laughs> Why is his mouth wide open? I'm not gonna lie, though. When you are in the Sonic levels, this is a lot better. Yeah, the boss that, fights and like tail shit looks like crap, but yeah, this that's pretty much the consensus good. on this game is that like everybody loves the Sonic levels, but the Knuckles and Tails levels are hit and miss. I like, dude, this like, came out the same time as Mario 64. I could see this being a fucking vibe, bro. Well, 
It was a little after Mario 64. It's like 2001. Oh, yeah. This is like a PS2, isn't it? Never mind. Game shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Game shit. I take it all back. Dude, it's crazy how, like, fast get gaming was evolving back then, and now it's, like, a game from 10 years ago is pretty much the it, same. Yeah, it, it literally went from, like, Crash Bandicoot to GTA. Yeah, literally. Yeah, it, tastes changed so fast, too. Because everyone was into platformers, and then everyone was like, fuck it, I want to play shooters, I'm not a baby anymore. That was literally it, bro. Like, I remember people just, like... Dude, you remember on the 360, like, every game was fucking, like, brown? Like, it was just, like, the, yeah. every game was so fucking ugly because people were, like, realistic. We want realistic. Even oh, the my fucking God. What is happening ugly. to the screen, bro? <laughs> dude, when did we get an epilepsy? What just, dude, you just went through the wall. I just came back to the floor. In. Dude, I'm playing this, like, the worst that I ever have. And it's actually hilarious. The game's, like, gonna break, bro. What the fuck? How do you know where to go? That was crazy, actually. That was honestly, that was some crackhead shit, Bo Blacks. That looked oh, sick. Yeah. That looked fun as fuck. That, uh, that level looked awesome. It is fun as fuck. I love Sonic because it's like, it's one of the only like fast-paced platformers. And then the whole attitude and the vibe of it. Obviously, I'm not it has gonna flaws, lie, bro. But... That, that, the fucking attitude of them talking is just, the dialogue is so bad. Holy it's shit, so we're watching awesome. a genocide. We've watched a city in the first game get like obliterated by a fucking flood. Millions dead. A whole island got wiped out. It's like Halloween now. Yeah. Why is there jack-o'-lanterns everywhere, bro? Happy Halloween. I absolutely adore this game, dude. What was your fucking childhood? What what game do you like? Oh, have you ever- I played a lot of Dynasty Warriors. Have you ever played that? Uh, I played like the Zelda version. Warriors. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the PS2 games like Dynasty Warriors of Dead. And then, um, what else did I play as a kid, man? I'm trying to think. Fuck ton of Crash Bandicoot, ton of Jack and Dexter. Oh, nice. So you're like a PlayStation kid. The only Nintendo shit I ever played was, uh, I, we ended up getting a Wii because my brother. So we played fucking Wii Sports, Smash Bros, and like Wii Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. But, it, dude, it wasn't until the, the fucking Wii U, the new Smash came out for it, and I was yep. like, I'm gonna get this fucking game. Now you're a pedophile. I got it, and then I, and then I, yeah, now I'm a pedophile. How do you even know where to go? There's no directions. Basically, I, I just fly around until like, the radar just, this goes is off, like and blindly then blindly just follow. wandering around a fucking room. Yeah, in the original version of this game, uh, you only can track one emerald at a time. So no matter what, it will only track one emerald. I have a mod on enabled that will track all of them simultaneously. So oh, so you have to mod this to make this bearable. I am excited to play Sonic 06 because that was like the most infamous YouTube game ever. I actually love Sonic 06. No, you don't. Yes, bro. I do. No, you don't. I do. I do. You can't say I that. I love it. Man. I love it. I'd honestly so rather you say you're a pedophile. Bo Blacks, when are you going to just move to the US, bro? I cannot believe there was an enemy on this level, bro. I was wondering, is there anything that could kill you? I... Okay, where the fuck is the emerald? Under under the uh, car the ca that fires where? the cannon. There's cars? Fucking stupid. Oh as my hell. dude, the fact that this is the gameplay is unbelievable to me. Best game Literally of all time. nothing is happening. Literally in my top around. five. Is that the moon? Oh no. He's he put his face on the moon. And he's about to fucking Wait! Blow up the, moon, the people dude. are normal! Oh my god, is he gonna kill them? Nah, dude, he's just showing his strength by jizzing all over the moon. Oh, what's yeah. the countdown for? He's already blown up the moon. <laughs> for blowing up the Earth, dude. We only have a day. <laughs> he's, he's gonna blow up the Earth? Yeah, because cause all the women rejected him. Sorry for the slander, guys. Stop talking actually reminded me that Eggman is indeed a feminist, according to the Sonic Heroes manual, so Eggman actually doesn't hate women. Wasn't Sonic about saving the environment? Why is this game like genocide? Yeah, well, Eggman is about destroying the environment, so you know. Right, right. I, and I what's so, more but... eco-unfriendly than fucking He's just blowing up the people. earth? Fuck climate change, dude. Just fucking... <laughs> Get rid of it. All right. <laughs> Nothing's worse for the environment than blowing it up. Yeah, True. then destroying it. I like how the police are just after them because they're like fucking aliens. Like if these fucking mutants were around, I'd want them arrested too. I'm wanted for like a million dollars. You are wanted for a million dollars. It's, it's literally like Keffel's escaping Canada IRL. <laughs> is that Big Ben? Are we in London? What, what is, is the scale here? 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 Why is Big Ben so small? I like how like this is a whole city and you're just standing in a pit. 
Float. Yeah, it's just like, like floating fucking... Just like a floating city. Oh, are we on the Golden Gate Bridge? Yeah, we are. You were just break... You were literally... This is terrorism. No wonder why he's won for a million dollars. A million dollars? That's it, bro? Yeah, really? And Steven Crowder gets like 50 million? And Steve, yeah, Hon Steven honestly, Crowder gets 50. Yeah, I think Tails works for Big Tech. I'm waiting for like Ben Shapiro to call him like a... Uh, like... What is something awful you can call a conservative guy? Dude, he's probably gonna call him a Jew. He's gonna be like, you're a bigger Jew than me. You want more money. 50 million's not enough. Yeah. He's the greediest, greediest rat I've ever had to work with. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking ridiculous, dude. How many people are even in support of Steven Crowder? Dude, Steven Crowder, yeah, I don't know, man. I fucking, the politics shit is such a grift on YouTube. Yeah, I- They all just say like the same fucking shit people wanna hear. I honestly don't know much about it. I kind of keep out of, like, the political stuff. I don't know why. Everybody has told me Keffels has done so many bad things. But for he some has, reason, bro. I can never hate her, dude. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, look, I don't I don't know if I, uh, like, hate her, but she's definitely done some fucking shady-ass shit. If you want to hear me and Willie Mac show continue to talk about Keffels and various other things, be sure to check out the next episode, which is on screen right now. Unless you're watching this the day it came out, then you'll have to wait till tomorrow to see it. But if you want access to it early and uncut, you could always become a channel member, and that will be available to you right now. Don't forget to check out Willie Mac show's channel, and I will see you in the next episode.